please welcome our next presenter, Craig Diaz from Equitas Health. Tonight, I want to tell you the story of a community that's gone by many names. King Lincoln, Columbus's Near East Side, Bronzeville, a neighborhood in the first half of the 20th century that was the most populous African-American neighborhood in Columbus, with a self-sustaining business community that was at the heart of Columbus's jazz and art scene. A neighborhood in the 60s that was decimated by the construction of I-71, which severed it from the rest of Columbus. And after decades of economic decline, a neighborhood today that is reinvigorated and revitalizing. And yet, a community cannot truly heal without health. And despite so much progress, as recently as 2016 data has shown that King Lincoln and the Near East Side are still considered a primary care desert. One in four residents lacking access to preventative care. On average, only one primary care provider for every 5,000 people. A neighborhood where 70% of residents live below federal poverty guidelines. Imagine if there was a community health center where people could access quality, affordable primary care, dental care, behavioral health services, and a full service pharmacy and more, all under one roof. There is. Enter Equitas Health and our King Lincoln Medical Center and Pharmacy. Our mission is to be the gateway to good health for those affected by HIV and AIDS, the LGBTQ community, and especially with King Lincoln for those seeking access to health care. Our medical center is a one-stop shop for all of our patients' health care needs, with each service line working together under an integrated model. You can walk in and see your primary care provider, walk down the hallway to see your therapist, walk over to see your dentist, and walk out the door with your prescriptions. It's not only convenient, it's improving our patient health outcomes. And most importantly, we provide care to anyone, regardless of your ability to pay. How do we do this? Through what we call a prescription for change. Our, social, our pharmacy is a social enterprise open to the public, with all proceeds reinvested back into our programs and services. And while these proceeds sustain the important medical care we provide, on average, 70% of our patients become pharmacy customers, further fueling the proceeds we can use to support our work. Additionally, our pharmacy is um, able, on, on average, one prescription can help cover the cost of one uninsured patient visit. But, uh, and uh, this has worked successfully. In our first year of operation, our King Lincoln Medical Center and Pharmacy served 2,100 patients, 40% uh, more than our year one patient goal. And the demand for our services continues to climb. However, we can do more. Our medical center is at capacity, and we are seeking $200,000 in investments to help us double the number of primary care rooms and further expand the facility. Not only will this allow us to serve 1,500 additional patients each year, but in one year, we can take that $200,000 investment and turn it into $1.7 million in pharmacy pro proceeds from new patient customers. $1.7 million to improve the health of our community, to impact the lives of thousands, and to further scale our medical center to meet the needs of those we serve. Together, we can write the next positive chapter in King Lincoln's remarkable story. Thank you. Craig, so at demand certainly tells us that, or mm -hmm. at capacity tells us there certainly is demand. Can right. you elaborate a little bit more on the community outreach component and mm -hmm. how existing neighbors within King Lincoln could see themselves as patients and customers of the pharmacy beyond your traditional clientele? Absolutely, yeah. So what we did when we opened our pharmacy and our medical center in the King Lincoln, we uh, had a community ribbon cutting where we invited the community in um, to learn more about our services and our programs. We had an army of volunteers actually go out and canvas the neighborhood to spread the word of uh, our important work. Um, and, and additionally, I mean, we're always inviting the community to come in and have conversations with us. A great example is that we just opened, um, or we just moved our pharmacy to the first floor, adding a retail space because the community came to us and we had focus groups and they said, look, I'm, you know, I'm a mother, I, can't, I have no place to go to where I can get milk or over-the-counter medications. And so we're able to provide those services using community feedback and continuing to reach out. So are you looking to um, in any way become more efficient so you can see more patients in the same amount of square footage or are you just looking to expand the existing uh, infrastructure to 
see more patients by expansion? We're actually doing both. So we're working right now to improve our provider efficiency. Um, we're trying to um, find a way so that our providers can see more patients. Um, but in addition to that, you know, by adding more exam rooms, we're able to hire additional uh, providers so that we can get more uh, patients into our space. What specifically do you mean by improved provider efficiency? Um, so we're trying to um, reduce the amount of time to a degree where our providers are spending with our patients, still providing that quality care, but ensuring that they're uh, able to see a, a higher number so that we can meet the demands of the community. parts of the city? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, we're drawing from King Lincoln, um, Columbus is near east side, um, but we're also the preferred primary care provider for CCAD, so we have students that are coming from that location as well. Um, and we do have a medical center, our first in Columbus in the short north. Um, and so we have patients when we open King Lincoln who actually chose to go down there as well. What's your biggest success story? I would say, <laughs> yeah. I would say. I want to know. I'm going to ask the same question from everyone, by the way, guys. Yeah. So just <laughs> emotionally prepare yourself. Spoiler alert. Yeah. yeah. Well, this, this, yeah. this, this is, this, it's a very telling, it's yeah. a very, it's a very telling question. Yeah. It's a very telling answer. So okay. as I mentioned, uh, we're improving patient health outcomes with our model. And the best example of that is among our uh, patients living with HIV. So an individual living with HIV who adheres to their medication and achieves viral suppression can live a long, normal, healthy life. Um, unfortunately, 46 nationally, only 46% of people living with HIV are virally suppressed. At Equitas Health, 89% of our patient population <laughs> is virally suppressed. We're keeping people in care.